All right. Now, welcome back to multiple choice questions. This is me. And we're on the static electricity and the current electricity part one. So there is a part two. Do you have your pens? Do you have your pencils? Do you have your paper? Let's get started. Now, question one. Static energy is A. Neutrons and protons present inside of the nucleus of any given atom. B. An imbalance of electric charges within or on the surface of a material. C. Neutrons and protons present in energy levels surrounding the nucleus. Or D. A balance of electric charges within or on the surface of a material. 2. Atoms are composed of three types of particles. The positive particle is referred to as the A atom, B electron, C neutron, or D orbital. 3. The reason why an atom does not have a charge or is neutral is because A, the number of protons and electrons are the same, B, the number of neutrons and electrons are the same. C. The number of protons and neutrons are the same. Or D. The number of electrons, protons, and neutrons are the same. 4. All of the following are useful applications of static charge except A. Lightning B. Electrostatic spray painting C. Photocopying or D. A dust precipitator. Question 5. The unit of current is A. Joules B. Newtons C. Coulombs or D. Amperes. Question 6. Current is the flow of dash through a conductor. A. Protons B. Neutrons C. Electrons or D. Ions Question 7. All of the following are electrical conductors except A. Mercury B. Salty water C. Sodium D. Concrete Question 8. Graphite is able to conduct electricity because it contains mobile A. Neutrons B. Protons C. Electrons or D. Ions 9. Graphite can form dash bonds because it is made up of carbon which has four valence electrons. So A. 2 B. 4 C. 6 or D. 8 Question 10 in an electrolytic cell, the anions are attracted to the anode, which is a dash terminal. A. Positive. B. Neutral. C. Negative. D. Both positive and negative. Question 11. All of the following are insulators except A. Air. B. Copper, C. Fur, or D. Rubber. Question 12. Which energy transformation is missing from the sequence for turning on a light bulb? So you have mechanical, dash light, and then dash. So what fits? A. Sound, heat. B. Electrical, sound. C. Kinetic, sound. D. Electrical, heat. Question 13. There are two types of circuits. A. Series and parallel. B. Parallelogram and optimal. C. Combined and series. D. Serious and practical. Question 14. The meter below reads A. 39103. B. 3A203. C. 38192 or D38292. Question 15. 
last month's meter read 40092, while this month's meter read 40342. How many units of electrical energy have been used this month? A250, B80434, C negative 250, D1. Question 16. A consumer used 100 units of electricity in a month. The first 60 units were charged on a block one time of 50 cents, and the next 100 were charged on a block two tariff of 80 cents. The fuel surcharge was 60 cents per unit. What did the consumer pay for the electricity? A. $12,200. B, $6,200, C, $122, R, D, $62. Question 17. The symbol below represents A, um, a light bulb, B, fuse, C, a meter, D, variable resistor. Question 18. In a zinc carbon cell. The positive terminal is made from A aluminum, B zinc, C carbon, D manganese. <coughs> Question 19. Which one of the following materials has a high resistance to current? A a glass rod, B an iron nail, C a pencil's point. Or D, salty solution. Question 20. The unit of resistance is A, amperes, B, ohms, C, resistance, D, voltage. Question 21. All of the following are ohmic conductors except A, semiconductor diodes, B, filament lamps, C, metals. D. Electrolytes. Question 22. Each of the resistors below have a resistance of 2 ohms. What is the overall resistance in the circuit? A. 6 ohms. B. 1 ohm. C. 3 ohms. D. 4 ohms. Okay, I hope you were able to answer every single question. Please make sure you have done so before we proceed into the answer section. The answer for question 1 is B, an imbalance of electric charges within or on the surface of a metal. That is what static energy is. Question 2, the answer is A. Atoms are composed of three types of particles. The positive particles referred to as the proton. Question 3 is A. The reason why an atom does not have a charge or is neutral is because the number of protons and electrons are the same. Question 4. All of the following are useful applications of static charge except A. Lightning. That is your answer. Number five, the unit of current is the amperes. Um, question six, current is the flow of electrons. That's the answer is C. Question seven, the answer is D. Uh, all the rest, A, B, and C, have three electrons or mobile ions. Question eight, it is able to conduct electricity. Graphite is able to conduct electricity because C. It contains mobile electrons. <coughs> Question 9. The answer is B. Graphite can form four bonds because it has four valence electrons. Question 10. The answer is A. In an electrolytic cell, the anions are attracted to the anode, which is the positive terminal. Question 11. All of the following are insulators except copper because copper is a metal. So your answer is B. 
all the rest are insulators. <coughs> Question 12 answers B. Which energy transformation is missing from the sequence for a light bulb? You have mechanical, then electrical, which is the wires. Then you have light, then you have a little bit of sound sometimes. Question 13, the answer is A. The series are parallel. Those are the two types of circuits. Question 14, to answer this, you have to know to read meters. If it's directly on a number, you call that number. If it's between two numbers, you always call the lower number. If it's between num zero, uh, number 0 and 9, you pick 9 because 0 is seen as 10. And if it's between, sorry, it's between 0 and 9, you pick 9 because 0 is seen as 10. If it's between 0 and 1, you pick 0 because it's now seen as 0. Once it's involving 0 and 1. So your answer will be 3, 8, 1, 9, and this will be 2. Because it's not directly on 3, it's in between, so you pick the lower one. So your answer will be C. Last month's meter reading, the amount of units would be the difference between the two numbers, which will give you 250, that's A. And then for this one, what you do, you multiply 60 units by 50 cents, then you multiply what is left of the 100 units by 80 cents, that's 40, by 80, and then you multiply the 100 units entirely by 60 cents because that's overall fuel charge, and then you add them all up and you will get $122. Let me see if I could do that quickly. Right here. Okay, so just to write out what I was saying, so you would say 60 units. I don't know which dragon it is. 60 units times 50 cents. Then you would have. 40 units times 80 cents because this is a 6 plus 40 is 100 and you multiply all 100 units by 60 cents and uh, from all of these you get 122 so let me do a little calculation quickly so the first one will be 30 Right, and then forty times point eight, and that will give you thirty two, and then one hundred times point six will give you sixty, and add those up. The six six plus six if I three plus three six that would be twelve or twenty two. All right, so that's the answer for that. <coughs> okay, so the symbol below represents a D variable resistor. Eighteen, the the zinc carbon cell. The positive terminal is made from carbon. It's a carbon rod. Um, question 19, which of the following materials has a high resistance to current, meaning that current can hardly pass through it, so um, all of the rest current pass through them. However, A, no. So A is the one that's out. The unit of resistance is the ohms, and then uh, all of the following are ohmic conductors except a semiconductor diode. Each of the resistors below have a resistance of 2 ohms. What is the overall resistance in the circuit? Okay, so to work out this, you could use this equation right here. But it's better to use this one. So much easier. A times B over A plus B plus the one in series. So whenever you have parallel, 
you do product over sum and what you get would be three right because this will give you one plus two gives you three ohms and there is the end 22 questions see you around for part two